So this is a question I had numerous times and to be honest I ain't gonna lie to you at first I wasn't sure on the answer because it's something I really didn't notice was happening in regards to being rewarded it and that is increased beast slots those inventory slots as you can see right here I have max now which is like 50 odd but you start with 20 here now the more you've got here obviously guys means the more efficient farming these beasts can be for you to sell them and earn more money so it's no wonder people want to know well today guys i have the answer i'll tell you exactly how you get 50 plus slots within these uh beast inventory slots stay tuned now guys if you do enjoy this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more hogwarts be sure oh shh I'm sorry little dude <laughs> Let me quickly give you a stroke man Here you go I cap somebody I cap somebody Come back Come back There you go Okay so yes If you do enjoy the video Leave it a like really helps out And if you like what you see And want to see more Be sure to subscribe Okay so yes So there are three instances in the game Where a quest you have to do To unlock these Beast slots The first one gives you 15 extra slots the second and third give you 10 each okay so the first one guys is tied to a quest called the high keep where you first guys get your flying mounts the griffin uh the festival as well if you got the uh if you pre-ordered it you'll also get the the onyx hippogriff and did i, did I just say griffin i'm playing a lot of arc i meant the hippogriff uh, the Festival if you got the Dark Arts pack and the Onyx Hippogriff. Now this is the actual um, the quest line where you rescue the Hippogriff. I don't want to ruin it for anybody. But it's a great, great mission. It's where you first get to fly the Hippogriff and it's amazing. But upon you doing this quest, it's not too far into the game. I mean, just dependent on, uh, to be honest, I think it could be about halfway through. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure, but hey. This is where you get your first extra 15 slots added into those beast inventory slots. Simple as that. Okay, so the second and third instances of you unlocking those beautiful beast slots come from quest lines from Deke. Now, Deke is the dude who you're introduced to not long, well, as you get the room of requirement, um, which is a quest line for Professor Weasley. Once you do this, you'll start getting quest lines for Deke. The first one called the, the Elf, the Nabsack, and the Loom. This is where you are taught about going out into the open world and capturing these beasts and bringing them back to the Vivarium with your Nabsack. And well, from this moment forward, guys, you're, you're free to do this. You can farm these beasts and sell them. But everyone knows about this already. But yes, this will progress uh, Deke's quest line for you. Uh, some of these are tied to the main story quest line though guys so if you finish one of these and the other one isn't popping up for you there's progress the main quest line which can be tied to level requirements too so keep that in mind but the last one for deke is called the phoenix rising i mean you do the plight of the elf uh plight of the house elf you'll then do the uh, foul of the dead i'm not actually sure which one of these comes in order but hey the foul of the dead is where you're taught about breeding and you'll get to go and capture two festivals to breed them that's cool yeah, you'll then have the Phoenix Rising quest line. This is where you're sent out uh, to rescue this Phoenix. It's part of a wicked story that Deke tells you. So yes, and then, well, I got it just before, but in the same the same mission. It was literally just for I grabbed the Phoenix, but in this instance, you get a plus ten uh, extra slots, and you'll see this on screen now. So that's pretty cool, guys. Okay, so the third unlock comes from. A quest line called, which is further up here, Sand Baker's Trial. So within this trial, guys, you have you will need the assistance of a grab horn. Ain't gonna ruin the mission for anybody, but a grab horn is the final man you get in the game. And yes, as you've guessed it, guys, these extra beast slots are tied to your mounts. Uh, so yeah. But within this, this is actually by the way, guys, this is probably one of the last missions in the game. Like third from the end, I believe. So yeah. But within this mission, you have you need the assistance of the Grapon, the Lord of the Shore. And upon you going and, well, getting him, and you'll see this on screen now, you get your third and final beast slot. So you'll have a total now of a 50 plus. So yes, guys, pretty cool. 
pretty cool indeed and well it really is as simple as that you more or less have to just progress the game get your mounts and you are good well two mounts and one is obviously the uh the phoenix which i wish it could fly that'd be absolutely incredible moving fire and shit that'd be absolutely badass but hey but yeah guys those beasts uh in which the slots are tied to uh the phoenix the hippogriff as well as the Grapporn. And there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, it really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more Hogwarts, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.